Hi everyone, Pastor Dave here from Real Life Church. Welcome to this episode of Rejuvenate and I am so glad that you've been able to join with me today. Today we're looking at a verse in the book of Zephaniah. We started at Genesis, we're up to Zephaniah and we actually conclude the Old Testament this week and then on Friday we start with the book of Matthew. I do hope you've been enjoying our journey through the Old Testament and uh, just having a glimpse at each book is interesting, isn't it? Well, Zephaniah is an interesting book. He's one of the prophets. He lived at a time just before it, uh, J- uh, Jerusalem was destroyed by Babylon. The Jews were the people of God, and yet they came under judgment because of their wickedness. And Zephaniah, he had a really hard time because he was trying to warn people, turn from your sin, turn from your sin. But of course, nobody wanted to listen to him, and judgment eventually came. And of course, nobody wants to hear that they're sinners, and they certainly didn't want to hear that all those years ago, and they still don't want to hear it today. But I've got an interesting verse of encouragement that when I read it to you from the book of Zephaniah, I'm sure you're going to say, how on earth could that be a verse of encouragement? But then hear my explanation. I'd love to know what you think about um, my, what, I, what I think about uh, this verse today. So Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 7, it says this. It says, stand in silence in the presence of the sovereign Lord for the awesome day of the Lord's judgment is near. That's it. Wow, how on earth can that be encouraging? I'll read it again. Stand in silence in the presence of the sovereign Lord, for the awesome day of the Lord's judgment is near. Well, for me, I find it encouraging. And the reason for this is, and by the way, Zephaniah, you know, it was written all that time ago, two and a half thousand years ago. Um, but while it was to the Jewish people, also has a parallel to our own own day. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I do get quite distressed at the level of depravity and wickedness in our own country. I think, what's next? What's What else is going to happen in this insane world? And sometimes also I get a little bit concerned that things that we as a society considered to be wrong yesterday, now it's we're saying it's okay. And you think, this world's absolutely crazy. Um, it's, it's absolutely insane. And one of the things I find great encouragement from uh, the scriptures are these these verses of judgment. And and the reason for it is I don't wish destruction upon anybody. But but what it does do when I read these verses, it does mean that God's going to have the final say. The wicked will be judged. There is a day of judgment. And, And no matter what mankind is saying, they're still right and they're still wrong. And for me, these verses like this means everything's going to be okay in the end. Now, of course, I don't want to be under come under judgment and I've committed sins and that's why we need to repent and ask God in Jesus' name to cleanse us from our sins. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, there is right, there is wrong, and even though the world's gone insane, um, there is a, a voice of sanity in this crazy world in which we live and this is the voice of sanity. There is right, There is wrong. The Bible tells us how to live. Let's live according to the scriptures. Amen. The wicked will not get away with their wickedness. And I encourage you today, if you've been walking in rebellion, turn to the Lord and let the Lord cleanse you of your sins today. And Father, this has been a very unusual verse. And of course, here at Rejuvenate, we only have a very short time together. But Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you actually have the final say. We thank you in this crazy, insane world, yours is a voice of sanity. We thank you for that today. And I just pray blessings of God upon all the listeners to rejuvenate today in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, everybody, have an awesome day. God bless you. Bye-bye.